In this video, we'll be going over path sum. So given the root of a binary tree and an integer target sum, return true if the tree has a root to leaf path such that adding up all the values along the path equals target sum. A leaf is a node with no children. So in our first example, we have a path of 5, 4, 11, and 2, which has a target sum of 22. So we return true. In this case, we have a target sum of 5, but we do not have a root to leaf sum of 5. So 1 and 2 is equal to 3, which is not equal to 5. And 1 and 3 is equal to 4, which is not equal to 5. So return false. So let's go over the dot process. So we will implement a recursive approach. We will be keeping track of the current sum of our path in the recursive parameters. For each of the node x, we will want to add the value of x to the current sum. If x is a leaf node, we will want to return true if the sum, if the current sum is equal to target sum. Else, we're going to return false. If the current sum is not equal to target sum, we can return false. Let's go over the pseudocode. We're going to implement the recursive approach. And then what parameters do we need? It'll be node, the current node we are visiting. And sum the current sum of the path. Current sum initially zero and target sum is the input target. It's, it's the input target sum. And then what's the base case? If node is equal to null, then we have an invalid path. So we're gonna return false because we only want root to leaf paths. If our current node is null, then it's not a leaf. So in each of the recursive call, we want to increment sum by the current node value. So increment sum by node.val. If node is a leaf node, then we'll only return true if sum is equal to target sum, or else we just return false. If the node is not a leaf node, we're going to recursively check if we can find a path in the left subtree. Node.left, and then recursively check if we can find a path in the right subtree. We only return true if if either of the paths is valid. So that means we have found a valid path on the left subtree or on the right subtree. Or and then, or return false if both of the both of the subtree are invalid or both of the paths are invalid. Now let's go over the time and space complexity. So the time complexity is go to O of n, where n is the number of nodes in the tree. We visit each node once. And then our space complexity is go to O of h, where h is the height of the tree. the recursive call stack memory. Now let's go over the code. So we're going to check if we have a valid path sum in roots keeping track of the current sum and the input target sum. Current node we're vis visiting and the current sum and the input target sum. If node is good to know, we have found an invalid path. So we can return false. And then we're going to increment the current sum by the current node value. If node.left is good to know, and node.right is good to know, that means it's a leaf node, 
will return true if sum is equal to target sum, else we will return false, else we will return the recursive results of checking the left subtree, check if, we, check if we can have a valid path on the left subtree, or we can check if there's a valid path on the right subtree. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below.